Hey guys, Mike here. Have you guys can tell, I'm so tired from work. I just came home a half hour ago after a long day at work. And I was watching the, following along the NHL draft lottery and um, can't say I'm disappointed. But to get this out of the way, I just want to extend my deepest congratulations to the Chicago Blackhawks, the New York Rangers, and the New Jersey Devils on winning the draft lottery. Uh, this season, man. Uh, today is definitely not a good day for L.A. at all. The, kid, the Dodgers are getting their ass kicked. But the, getting their ass kicked by the, by the Cardinals right now. The Kings fell from second best odds to getting Capo Caco. They're getting fifth. Getting sh probably getting a, a consolation prize within a consolation prize. The Lakers failing to underachieve. And now Magic's out. <sighs> Rotten luck. But now... I just want to say something. Oh, excuse me. Let me just say something, guys. Am I upset we didn't get Kako? Absolutely. Kako was my preferred choice. But for all those Rangers fans, congratulations. You guys definitely need him more. Even though we had a lot of holes. And honestly, today's draft lottery makes our rebuilding process that much more harder. Which means more than likely we'll be back here next year. I know most of my, most, I'll be telling you, as soon as I saw the tweet saying the Kings are going to be dra drafting fifth, and I saw the logo appear on the fifth card, my heart just sank. But it is what it is. Just take the L and move on. That's all I can say. Oh, excuse me. I mean, surely there's going to be a diamond in in this year's draft. I mean, look, look what happened a few years ago. A few years ago, when the Canucks drafted Elias Patterson, look how freaking well that turned out. So could we? Could it be lightning strikes twice this time? Oh, well, I can only tell. One well, can only tell. One well, can only hope. But chances of a NHL player being a fifth overall pick feed NHL ready are pretty slim, which means chances are he's probably going to Ontario first. If you're a fan of the Ontario raid, well, first of all, see you guys Friday, and I will be vlogging there. So if you guys see me at the Citizens Business Bank Arena, come say hi. Because this year's draft will pretty much rebuild the Ontario raid. So, and how fitting the Atlanta hosted a well, if you guys are wondering about that, it is we're getting heavy winds right now, so if you are wondering, that's why. I hate to go off topic, but I have to go on it. <sighs> Man, I also, my heart goes out to all those Red Wing fans. I mean, they were just as awful, as, if not worse, than we are. Now, here's what's sad. We had the courtesy to tell Willie Desjardins to F off. Ken Holland is keeping Blashill around. Why? The dude freaking sucks! And I'm not mean... I mean not Bruce Brudo sucks. No, no, no. At least Brudo has regular season success. Blash... Jeff Blashill? has Eric Branson sucks. He is that bad. Now it makes me wonder what are the Kings going to do with the... with the uh, coaching situation. I mean, I've heard talks that they're talking to Tom Mc... McMullen, first of all, why? I mean, sure he has playoff success and regular season success, which honestly, I honestly, I really don't care personally because anything's got to be better than Desjardins. For Kovalchuk's sake as well. And if people say we should trade Kovalchuk, that wasn't entirely his fault. Desjardins didn't know what the hell to do with him and scratched him every chance he gets. Thank God he's gone. 
I guess those Canucks fans told me they were right. Ay. They, all I can say about Dejo Dad, great junior coach, terrific AHL coach, crap NHL coach. Ugh. What we got, Quindle? Oh, wait. He didn't want to be with us because we were a rebuilding team. Ugh. Can't blame him going to Florida. All right, guys. I'm going to have to... Now, if you guys excuse me, before I uh, continue my my gameplays in a little bit, I'm going to have to eat my dinner and uh, drink my sorrows after today. See you guys tonight. Later tonight, guys.